Hey, how y'all doing out there? Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy, Easy Work Box. I'm about to hit you up with it on your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what time it is. No bias talk, no racism on this channel. We just keep it 100 about the sport of boxing. Got to talk about this young fighter, Tim Tazu. And now, um, I'm sure everybody know who he is by now. 154 pounder. This young man had 24 bouts. He is age 27 from Australia. Orthodox, 5'8". With a 72 inch reach. He is the son of Costa Zoo. If you know about Costa Zoo, Costa Zoo, former undisputed champion, the guy who beat, you know, Zab Judah, uh, the infamous knockout, you know, where Zab Judah falls to the ground and, you know, gets back up and go to his mention and talking about sunflower seeds. But uh, that's who uh, his father is, a legendary fighter in the Hall of Fame. Um, I always criticize Fighter's son. I think that. Uh, most fighter sons wouldn't do good like their father because they don't have the hunger that their father had to go through and endure or the poverty or the trials and tribulations. You know, these kids are growing up in a better household, better way of living. So I don't really see the fire in most of the kids, but that might not work for all. But certain kids, you know, uh, I see them not having the potential in boxing that their father had. Tim, he coming out hard. You know, Tim has, you know, uh, Gotten his name out there. I will say a little bit the hard way. Um, it looked like he's struggling to get to superstar, but yeah, he hasn't done enough. You got to remember he's only what twenty one and zero. Um, hell of a fighter, looks strong. Kind of reminds you of his father. Look like he has power. He's trying to maintain at one fifty four, trying to fight Costano or possibly uh, the winner of Costano or Jamel Charlo. But the um, thing I'm wondering about is he a fluke or is he a hype job or not? Now, recently, y'all, let me go down here. He had a fight with Terrell Gaucher, 22 and 1. You know, um, Terrell Gaucher, he's had some matchups, you know, that he's lost. I think, uh, let me see. Uh, he has lost to Tim Tazoo now, as we know. And he also lost to Erickson Lubin, a fighter that I keep telling y'all is special. Y'all need to look out for him. He's lost to Arizona Lord. These are the only losses on his resume. And those are decent fighters, good fighters, so uh, including Tim Tzu. But is Tim Tzu, you know, really the guy that we expect him for him to do um, to be? A lot of people are saying that he can possibly beat Jamel Charlo or he can possibly beat uh, Brian Costano. But I just want to go back and you know talk about what happened to him against Gauche in that fight. Now. What happened between him and Gauthier in that fight take nothing away from Gauthier, but to me, the Predators are out there in the water swimming for Tim Tzu. Uh, he's saying he want to fight possibly Jamel Charlo after Jamel Charlo will see. Um, basically, what I'm saying is Tim Tzu needs to switch trainers right now. He needs a new trainer right now. Uh, walking into shots like that, right now, he's looking like seafood. Um, every challenger at 154, they're going to start doing him like they're doing Erica Belang, where they're going to start calling him out. I want Tim to zoo. I want Tim to zoo. I'm trying to fast forward to the shot because it was so beautiful how uh, Terrell Gaucher timed it. But Charlo is an orthodox fighter. And in my opinion, Charlo um, is more physical, moves more faster, uh, punching speed faster than Terrell Gaucher. And if he can time you like that and catch you with a straight right hand, I think Charlo can possibly knock you out as well, you know, um, but not taking nothing away from Terrell Gaucher, but seeing him get dropped like that just made me wonder, you know, are you really the real deal? You know, it was the first round, you know, uh, fighters come out certain ways. They come out cold a little bit in the first round, but, you know, from the, the hype of the internet, like we've been saying a lot, a lot of these fighters coming up, the hype of the internet, this was something we was not supposed to see with Tim Tazu coming up. You know, so is he sharp food right now? Do you think the the challengers at 154 are willing to get in the ring with Tim after that knockdown? Because it was a beautiful knockdown. I'm, I'm sitting here right now. I'm trying to catch it before I get off. But, uh, you know, with these sons getting in the boxing, man, I just don't. I, I have yet to see a son that has surpassed the father like Floyd Mayweather did or something like that. I doubt if these kids today are going to do it because Floyd was raised differently in the sport of boxing. Like Floyd told you, he was hit on, his father would check him. He was made to be perfect. A lot of these kids are not growing up like that to be a perfectionist in the ring. And as you see with that beautiful straight right hand that he dropped him with that I just seen. Let me see, why did he catch him? Oh, he he caught uh, Tim Lizzo. Okay, 
I guess that's one of his flaws right there, Tim. Tazu clearly opened up, didn't even use a jam. He started off in close range with a right hand, which got him dropped with a, uh, with a straight right hand. Uh, he was throwing a, a right hand himself. He didn't throw a jab first. He started out with a right hand. He needed to get a new trainer, or I think uh, we'll be seeing more of that going on with Tim Tazu in the future. Uh, he came out, he finished his job against uh, Gaucher. Got to give him credit for that. Give uh, Gaucher credit, but at the same time, this is for the public out there. Do you feel he's hype or not? Do you think uh, fighters will be calling out Tim Tazu now since you've seen him get dropped like that? Uh, we know that drop means nothing. You can come back from getting dropped as we've seen him do. It takes nothing away from him. But do you think that Tim is a hype job? It's easy work boxing. Thank y'all for y'all time, y'all love, and y'all support. Y'all stay tuned. No bias talk, no racism. Uh, subscribe to the channel. The link is in the description if you want to support the channel. The link is in the description. It's easy work boxing. I'm out.